you, can you stop charging me for which for some reason always hits me even though I'm trying to get out of the way? And of course you guys don't drop anything. I keep getting healing potions, which I guess is the plus, but still, that's still nothing. Especially if they're only weak potions. <gasps> What's this? Stuff, okay. I don't know what's going on here. But I'm hoping that there's like little to no enemies around here. Hopefully there's no scams that'll just end up trying to kill me again. I hear one. There he is. There's the guy who's gonna end up kicking my butt. Oh. Oh, I, I, need, a, I need my acrobatics hide. No, he had a random, why did he have a bone? Mm. Why did I just pick it up for no reason? There we go. You can have the bone, buddy. Ah. Wonderful. Okay, I need to wait till that scamp is done moving. So I can lure him into over here. Aha! There we go, he's dead. And there's another bone. Yeah, that's something that you gotta remember though, is too, is that this guy has a Daedra around him. But this should be pretty easy. Yep. As long as you know how to fight them, you know how what their weakness is. No, he's dead. Conjuration plus two. Eh, it's fine. There you go. I found it. Game. There you go. I must return back. If I remember correctly, there's no secret over there, so we can just leave. But we're going to return to both items at the exact same time, so let's go and grab the Necromancer Amulet quest. We'll head from Coral and we'll head the opposite direction. I think we should head from Coral, right? Yeah, okay, so we're not going to interfere with one of the DLCs. Awesome. There's a DLC close by to Coral, they just don't want to start because of, well, because the, because technically during the rules I have to finish it and I don't have the gold f to finish it, so. I need a lot of gold. Is there anything in here? Technically there is. Aww. Game. Needed you to unlock that. Oh, I needed the game to unlock that for me. Not break every lockpick I had. I'm sure I'll just put everything in here for now. You just take all my potion ingredients for now. I'll take them all out after anyway. Oh, that's something I forgot to do yesterday. Oh, that's fine. Or forgot to do since last time. I, of course, forgot to do the simple thing. I forgot to check. Uh, how I made my potion before. So I'm going to go try and get those potion ingredients again. Since that potion was amazing. Oh. You get exp Wait, you get XP from reading books? Okay, I'm reading every single book now. That might give us some free levels. Okay, let's fast travel all the way up to here. So I have a feeling that sorry, uh, I have a feeling that like anytime we get a level up, that's when we get to increase our skills. Because I don't think we're increasing our skills as normally as we did before. Fair and Square loans HQ. Ooh, what's this? Oh, 
Oh, I thought you were after me. Okay. Uh, nope, nothing. Okay. I'm busy here, okay? You mind giving us some? Are you guys uh an item? Okay, whatever. So what's the loan part about this? Or is this where like a loan shark kind of like has his people? Uh, surprised you guys don't have anything. Wait, I can, wait, I can, wait, I can loot this area? Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, this can actually be a proper test. Okay, I want to check to see something. Will this count? Stolen item? What are you talking about? I didn't steal an item. Did I count stealing an item? Because that shouldn't. Eh? It's a... It's a white or yellow hand or however you want to kind of word it as. What? Okay, whatever. We got nine gold that's apparently stolen. Even though the game icon didn't show that it was stolen. It's weird. Supposed to be red, which means stolen, but or stealing, but we didn't see that. We just saw a normal thing. Well, to be fair, I did get so kind of suspicious with that. Also, using alteration to open chest doesn't give you XP. Stealing an item from it does. Ooh, an Iliad ruin. I kind of want to get this location. Now that it, now that the locations give you XP, I just want to find every location. This would be where I would flex one rule. Or I would kind of bend a rule to my will kind of thing. Where I would be like, okay, we can use an armor to discover every location for the most part. By just running to it. Okay. I want the location though. There we go. We got Windier. Awesome. What's this though? Wait. If this is where I think it is, then I know where we're going. And I already don't like it. But this should be an easy location, right? Or is, or is this. Maybe this is actually harder. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, I think it's too common because there's a quest in here. Yeah, I kind of figured that. That's why I retracted what I said and said, eh, it's too easy. And since it's, since this is too close to that, it's going to have the same condition, right? Yep. Rat. Okay. How much XP did he give? One. <laughs> I kind of figured a rat would give one XP. Okay, I think I know why I think that the Mudcrab Gate would have given me a zero XP. I think because I used the armor to test around... Uh, I think it was around this area specific... Uh, this area specifically... Yeah, I tested around this area specifically. I think what ended up happening was that uh, it pretty much like added the total of all my skills and all that such. Even though they're be they were being fortified, it still counted them. And it sort of just said, you know what, this guy's a little bit too high level uh, to get like you know that one or three XP points. We'll give him we'll give him uh, zero point one or zero point two or whatever it was. So yeah. I think that's probably why I thought it was going to give me zero. Now this should be something like harder, like an average difficulty location to find. 
Easy. Yeah, I kind of figured. Trying to get up here. Come on, on the rock. There we go. Perfect. Easy, so we're getting more XP now. Yeah, something else that's uh, something else I wanted to mention as well is that none of the skills actually show you what you need in order for them to like level up as well, kind of thing. So it's more disguised than anything. Ten thousand. That's kind of nice. Get seven k. It's kind of. I kind of don't like the XP per hour thing because I think the reason why it jumps from. Like, the large number to here is because, like, it recognizes my level as 2 kind of thing. And so it's like, whoa, this guy went from, like, getting 0 XP to, like, six or 7,000 almost immediately. Wow, this guy's really good at the game. So I don't really like the fact that it goes towards that average. And plus, we don't really have good equipment either, so I can't really try and my best to, you know, jack that number all the way up to, like, 20 million kind of thing. I would love to, but, eh. It's fine. Going over here. Let's get this alien ruin. There's wolves over there. I don't want to face anything if I can avoid it. We're trying to make it to this other location. Hey, stop being stuck, game. Ah, it's a wolf. Nice. You should be dead. Okay, I think doing my best to trying to get uh, acrobatics to apprentice is probably going to be my best bet. Okay, this should be close to enough. Come on. Okay, trying to jump up this mountain should definitely give me more than enough XP to get like acrobatics as quick as possible. What is my acrobatics, by the way? Five? Oh, this should definitely give me the XP. So why isn't it... Why isn't it doing it, though? Like, why aren't I getting acrobatics XP from this? My acrobatics should be six by now. Trust me, I played Nerum with all my stats uh, at 10 just to try and see if it was my stats for the one error, and that's a problem. <laughs> Good job. That's, I think, a Bethesda thing. Is that or Oblivion Uncut is doing something weird over here? Oh, I really want to check what that Archmage's Vault is. I don't know if that's the Mana Marco mod or if that's Oblivion Uncut adding something that was originally removed. See, it could be one of the two. Yeah, I remember going through this area at one point on, I think, was it the PlayStation or was it the Xbox? I forgot what it was. Uh, I went through here with a character that I accident well not accidentally, I actually intentionally did it because I thought it would be kind of funny. I made a character completely invisible uh, that would be, well my character would be constantly invisible. And so I pretty much just walked through here like nothing ever happened, went do 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 do, nobody can find me, I'm completely invisible with Chameleon. It was actually kind of fun just to 
go through it. Me, whoa. That's a lot of XP, man. 100 for discovering this location is amazing. I've arrived at Fort Antis. I need to find Karania and get the Necromancer's amulet from her. Let's go. Also, there's a weird bug. Uh, I don't know if the unofficial patch fixes it or if something else fixes it or if anything else. I think at one point there was a bug where you can actually get the... Uh, I think it was this and I think the Bloodworm helmet after Man of Marco, I think. Because you're not normally supposed to be able to do it. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of figured that already. You're not going to tell me that she's deeper into the labyrinth or whatever? Okay, well, whatever. Thanks, I guess. She's got a large following of mages in here. Man, he... Man, the, the necromancer is going to have a rough time dealing with you. <gasps> Book! Yes! More XP! How much was that? 35! Yo, that's amazing. That's a stone mug? That doesn't look like a stone mug. It looks like a kind of coaster of some kind. Oh, I don't have a lockpick, though. 